I have had a very rocky relationship with the National over time. I remember when I was younger, I loved Boxer and Alligator. I thought they were amazing albums, but honestly, I barely remember them these days. And even Trouble Will Find Me, which is the one album I always defend the most from this band as saying it's their best album. I don't even know if you could trust my opinion on that, because I've not had the urge to listen to that album in like four or five years. It's weird, I don't know what it is about The National, honestly, but uh, I think they have some amazing songs across their discography though, like there will always be tracks that I will remember and consider to be fantastic. Like with their last album, uh, with a few of the tracks on there being really fantastic, I think. And I was probably harsher, than, uh, uh, harsher on that album than it deserved. But um, again, I just don't really have that much investment in this band. And that's kind of the case with this new album, I Am Easy To Find. There are some bursts of bright moments that I just wanted them to explore even further. But so much of this album for me is incredibly dull. It's really funny because I'm probably going to end up sounding like a hypocrite by saying that Trouble Will, Find, Trouble Will Find Me is their best album and then saying that all the ballads on this album are incredibly dull considering that album is literally ballad after ballad after ballad. But if I'm just strictly looking at this album on its own I think most of these ballads are really, really not hitting at all. Matt sounds incredibly uninspired across this album. Like, so many of these tracks, he is just not emoting whatsoever. I cannot think of any reason why I would choose to pick these ballad-type songs over any other performer out there that emotes their voice and uses so much passion in their vocals. Like, what, like... Why would you pick this over those? I don't get it. He's mumbly, he's moany. I really don't get any appeal out of his performances on this album. That is the one Achilles heel of this entire thing that drags it down for me. Because you know what? These instrumentals at points are incredibly heartwarming and touching and really lovely to listen to just in general. The lyrics are incredibly powerful as well throughout. Um, he's always been a fantastic lyricist. I could not really ever take away from that department when talking about The National. But a track like Light Years is an incredibly potent closing track and that piano on there, I adore that thing. I think it sounds beautiful. It is so beautiful. It's definitely the best of the bunch when it comes to the piano tracks, but that's not to take away from the other ones because Generally, the instrumentals, like I said, are really, really good. I will say that they're not exactly my type of cup of tea at points though. They are incredibly simple and uh, straightforward and bare to the bones. Like it's just a very standard type of instrumentals going on here. Like I, I do typically like my instrumentals on this type of music to be quite lavish and expansive and filled with so much orchestral arrangements but I can't really take away from them because they do sound nice. It really is just the performances. I get nothing out of Matt. I really feel like you could take his voice away and I would just be happy <laughs> with an instrumental album because that's kind of the only pulling point for me throughout. And what annoys me most about this album actually is that they show so much potential in what they can do with some of the instrumentals on the heavier tracks. Not heavy in terms of like, whoa! I mean more of like the indie rock tracks where they're um, delving into that kind of like electronic type stuff that they were doing on their last album, System uh, Only Dreams of Total Darkness, that track, that kind of thing. They're going down that road a little bit on some of these tracks like the opening one and yet they just don't carry it out and it's a shame to me. You Had Your Soul With You and Quiet Light are the pinnacle of what the National can do when they're at their best. These are like the Mr. Novembers and Mistaken For Strangers and Blood Buzz Ohio of the album. Like these are that good, I think. They just have a modern tinge to them and it's so exciting to me to see them take a different approach to their sound and it pay off so well. Like with the last album, the tracks that had more life to them and were a bit more energetic in terms of like the rockier instrumentals were the best ones because we've heard the National do ballads hundreds of times before. These tracks on here aren't adding to their discography in any way, they're just falling in the background, you know, amongst the pile of already written songs they've done before. And it drags on for way too long as well, I'm barely paying attention. 
throughout the album up until you get to a track like Rylan where finally some energy is bursted back into the album and suddenly things are a bit more exciting. Even Rylan isn't that great of a song, honestly, but I take it over not in Kansas any day. That instrumental never moves. There is just nothing going on in that song and it goes on so damn long. They're just not doing anything to explore these ballads, I don't think. It, all they've done this time around, they've just slapped on a few female guests on a couple of the tracks throughout. And honestly, they add nothing to the songs. I really find their voices just to stick out like a sore thumb because I don't think their tone matches Matt's tone throughout. The main vocalists that crop up throughout are Lisa Hannigan, Gail Ann Dorsey, and Kate Stables. And yeah, I feel as though these performances are really quite weak, I think. They're not impactful enough to really drive the songs in any particularly interesting way for me. They don't harmonize with Matt ever, I don't think. I think they're on different wavelengths. Like, that points to my ears, it sounds like they're singing two different songs. I just find there's to be such a lack of emotion coming out of the vocalists throughout this album. It's really tiring to sit through. It's a drab, lengthy album with a few highlights sprinkled in, but there just aren't enough of them to keep me entertained throughout. This is a 4.5 out of 10 from me. Very harsh, I know, but I just didn't enjoy this. And I know it's gonna look bad on me as well for not delving into the lyrics here, but I, I think there's, there's something in the way you say your words. I think if you're not presenting your voice in a way that inspires me, or catches my ears in any particular way, then your words lose a lot of meaning, I think. How you say something and what you say, I think are, are two very important things that go together. And if one of those isn't quite right, then I think it falls apart and I just find Matt to be incredibly bland throughout this entire album that everything he says doesn't really touch me in any way. And I, I, that's something I look out for in music, so yeah. Thank you for watching my review. Sorry that this is a harsh one, but it's just my opinion, obviously. Thank you again. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Have a good day and goodbye.